How can you stay and live in Italy completely tax-free? I read this question a lot on the expats groups all around the internet and deep in my heart, I, I wish I knew how to answer that in a very you know, straightforward way. Uh, there is no blueprint today out there, but I do have some ideas a lot of you could find very interesting and inspiring, why not? Uh, the famous 103 days principle, you know, just to begin with the most common one, uh, gives you a lot of space to maneuver. This six months window per year, regardless of your citizenship or visa or legal permission to stay, that allows you to stay longer than 90 days, um, seems like a very good fit for those who spend time here and there across two or several countries. You may decide to spend some months in Italy, maybe in the summertime, and in the, in the freezing time, you can go back to your home country or flip side, just below the 103 days spent in Italy. So if you fit that, if you behave like that, if you pay attention and literally count the days, seriously, like checking the boxes, uh, you can stay away from the obligations and enjoy the Italian life. Uh, how can I say, part-time, tax-free? Now, let's think of those who are running through the hard task of becoming Italian citizens. Well, no worries, since citizenship per se doesn't trigger any tax liability in Italy. However, if you are required to sign into the anagrafe of your municipality in order to obtain that certificate, well, you have to be aware that if your name is listed in that registry of the permanent population for more than six months, so once again, more than 103 days, automatically you become a tax resident. How to get rid of that? By registering to AIRE, A-I-R-E, and make sure you comply with the timing. Let's stretch the logic now. Let's say you spend 190 days in Italy every year in a calendar year basis, or your name is registered to the NAGRA for the same period of time. Is there a way, a legal way, to stay away from the tax return process and fiscal obligations? Yes and no. Don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a very messy and delicate discussion to have. Um, strictly by the book, domestic Italian rules work very often by assumptions. If you do X, then Italy considers Y and so on. So even the 103 days principle leaves some space for a noted uh, documentary evidence, a ruling that you as an individual have to win and motivate yourself to prove your tax residency is elsewhere. All around the world, there are the so-called tiebreaker rules in force, conditions that countries claiming the same individual as a tax resident have to apply in order to uh, figure out what country of fiscal domicile he has. Uh, proving your tax residency abroad when you're automatically considered a tax resident of Italy in this case is like uh, trying to convince the jury you're not guilty of the murder case when you've been caught with the gun next to the victim. Uh, this is a very very extreme metaphor just to explain how hard working, detailed, tailor-made, bespoke, your defense must be uh, assuming you're innocent, of course, assuming you're really a tax resident of the other country, or in other terms, assuming that you really have the center of your life, ties, and economic interests in the other country. Tax residency in Italy, thanks to our civil code nature, is not black or white. It gives you all the shades of gray. So, which one are you?